After the short video explaining the nature of the day's calculation, here we will actually calculate these figures for the historical period. We see the math formulas for the calculation of days on the right. Starting with DSO, what we need to do is divide the number of trade receivables by the amount of revenues for that year and multiply by 360. And here is the DSO number for 2011. Let's copy it to the right. Similarly, DPO and DIO are calculated with the same formula, although revenues are replaced by COGS. What I'll do here is select the amount of DPO and divide it by the number of COGS in 2011. Let's fix the row reference of the COGS figure and multiply by 360. The result of the formula is negative. Since we are talking about days, it would be unnatural to have negative days. That is why I'll negate this number by putting a minus in front of the formula. Let's copy the same formula for DIO as well. We can do that because we fixed the row reference of COGS. This is how we calculate DSO, DPO, and DIO. Thank you for watching.